Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I did a video about a week ago, Red Sea Reefer 170. This is, um, let's see, I've had this tank up for about a month. And um, I just bought today some uh, of the Red Sea um, AB Plus to feed my corals. And so we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna take a run around the tank real quick. Um, and then we'll just kind of watch the progression of this stuff, see if it works like they claim. So uh, I have it on 15K right now, my LED. Um, I do have a couple of um, black storms there. Let's see that fatty little brain there. I said some sticks and a absolutely huge anemone. I wish those black storms would find it so bad. Um, I'll do the. I'll get that light thing figured out, y'all, so that we can see stuff a little bit better. But when I did break down my SR60, I did have that lobophilia there that just didn't love the move in the transition, and so it'll be interesting to see if I can get uh, that thing to recover with this. Um, Red Sea AB Plus, so. And really, my Zoles really haven't been doing really well either. Um, so, that's the tank on the outside. Real quick. Um, and then, I'm not sure, I think I showed this last week, but. So, I'm going to feed this stuff. I turned my skimmer off. Um, there's my little sump. I run. Um, Chemi Pure Blue, and I just added a Chemi Pure Elite, uh, the little small bags, and then I dose uh, Alpha Reef, um, I think about 12 mLs a day maybe, um, and that seems to keep my calcium and magnesium and everything straight. My pH is a little bit lower than I'd like, it's at like, you know, it'll go from like 7.96 to um, 7.96 to maybe like almost 8.1 so I may mess with that a little bit and then I have an mp10 with a guard and an mp40 I wish I had two mp10s but that mp40 was for my bigger tank before um, and then yeah that's pretty good all right so I am going to let's see here I was gonna probably turn my pumps down a little bit, but I'm going to dump this in. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And let's see. So there it is. Let's see what these corals do. I know with the light and everything, it's not picking it up, but it is like super green, like uh, crazy toxic looking green, but um, the camera's not really picking it up that well. So, let's see if we can see some sort of crazy response from the corals. Um, that guy seems to have his... Uh, Feeders out a little bit more. Nothing on the brain yet, but it's just been a few minutes. Um, if anyone does have any recommendations for me of how I do, uh, get this so that you can see a little bit better so it's not so blue. I do have it on 15K. I guess I could just turn down the blue, Sean. I'm smarter than that. Uh, so we'll do that for the next video. Um, but I know there's some sort of trick where you can just like put a cover over the camera on the um, iPhone and that works as well. So if anyone has any tips or tricks on that, let me know. Um, there's still a lot about reefing that I need to learn, but the truth is I have been doing this for mm, eight or nine years, and uh, no offense to my local fish stores, but my tanks always look better. Um, so I guess that's just it's easier to keep one tank clean than a whole bunch, I guess, but um, rarely run into 
um, a lot of algae issues or anything of that nature. I try to keep it pretty simple in general. So, um, you know, not as crazy of a reaction as I thought there might be based on um, what I was hearing about this stuff and how corals go nuts and they were showing videos of things flipping inside out and um, I'm not sure I'm getting that same response from my corals. Maybe it's something with time that happens. Um, once they know kind of and get uh, used to it into the tank, um, that they start looking forward to it a little bit more. I don't know. But um, anyways, day one. So um, maybe once a week or so. I'll uh, Once every two weeks. Let me not, let me, let me over promise, under deliver, rather under deliver and over promise on that um, video. But um, we'll do like every two weeks maybe and to see if we can uh, track a little bit of progression of coral growth and stuff. Peace out, y'all. Bye-bye.